Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clogged line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. Here's your weather video for this Sunday, March the 3rd. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. Quick hitting system today, then a chance to dry out. Threat of severe weather over South Alabama. The biggest thing we'll be talking about along with some heavy rain or soaking rain at least across much of the area today. Here's the radar at 615 this morning. Temperatures uh, generally around 50 degrees in the I-20 quarter. We got 40s over North Alabama, 50s to the south. You go uh, down to South Alabama, readings uh, in the 60s. Uh, they are places like uh, uh, Evergreen, 60 degrees, uh, now 63 at uh, Brookley Field in Mobile. We've got middle uh, and upper 60s across the Florida Panhandle. Here's the upper flow across the United States, a fast uh, west to east flow uh, showing across much of the country with uh, a disturbance uh, showing up there in green uh, across eastern Colorado and Kansas. That uh, area of um, lowered pressures will uh, swing to the east today. And as it does, it will induce the development of a surface low uh, that we'll be tracking closely. It'll develop over Mississippi this morning, move across north central Alabama this afternoon. The position of that low is everything in severe weather. Uh, position here is uh, favorable for severe weather over south Alabama. Uh, things are only going to happen really to the south of it because the low pulls the warm Gulf moisture up uh, out of the Gulf of Mexico. Now, if that low were up, um, Around uh, the Missouri Boot Hill, southern uh, Illinois, Kentucky, we'd be a lot more concerned about it for North Alabama. But for our friends in South Alabama, this is a significant severe weather threat this afternoon. Uh, this is what the radar uh, will look like. Um, this is what the radar will look like uh, mid morning this morning. Those showers and storms over uh, Mississippi will be moving to the east. Surface low will be uh, just south of Columbus, Mississippi. And you can see the uh, activity will be spreading into northwest Alabama. As we get toward the noon hour, the uh, surface low over there near Gadsden, uh, with uh, showers and storms uh, occurring across uh, much of north and central Alabama. But by then, the system will begin to uh, uh, develop a fairly strong cold front that will be uh, pushing to the southeast. There's going to be a brief window between noon and 4 o'clock this afternoon uh, that we'll see severe weather over uh, parts of Alabama. Now, here's the uh, uh, instability off of the NAM 3K model showing uh, the extent of the instability uh, at noon today. Um, this is uh, over southwestern Alabama, places like Jackson, Monroeville, uh, counties in southwestern Alabama. Some uh, light instability up uh, as far north as uh, I-20, so you could hear some thunder up into the Birmingham, Tuscaloosa areas. Uh, as we move forward through 3 o'clock and extrapolating that, you can see the front beginning to push to the southeast. Uh, the most uh, unstable air still over uh, southern sections of Alabama from Chilton County uh, south uh, with the best uh, instability over the Florida panhandle. Now, this is the significant tornado parameter, which combines a lot of uh, uh, factors into uh, a single number that we can study. And when this uh, number is up over 2, as it shows in the yellow there, uh, we begin to get concerned. Uh, really, uh, you can get, you got a chance of a tornado there anywhere in the uh, area that shows in blue, the teal color. Uh, so places like uh, Demopolis, Selma, Montgomery, over to Auburn and Tuskegee. Uh, best chances of uh, severe weather today, damaging winds and a uh, possible tornado. But uh, the best chance of a significant tornado, meaning an F2 or greater tornado, is going to be somewhere there, uh, Jackson, Monroe County. Uh, spreading out to the northeast during the morning. And uh, that's what the SPC and the National Weather Service in Birmingham are picking up on in their outlooks. This is at 3 o'clock this afternoon. You see the uh, the uh, best chances for significant tornadoes moving uh, up the I-85 corridor. So you can expect places like uh, Montgomery over to Tuskegee and uh, Auburn and then into Lynette uh, having the best chances uh, for a significant tornado this afternoon. That activity uh, pushing on eastward into western Georgia, I think we could see a couple strong tornadoes today over South Alabama, western Georgia. Uh, it's going to be something uh, really 
uh, that we'll want to keep a close eye on. Now, the system is quick moving, so I think that means that we won't have to deal with very much in the way of flooding rains, uh, but a general soaking one to one and a half inches of rain expected across the area today. And uh, like I said, hopefully that won't cause any additional flooding concerns. Now, the concern will then turn to cold. Uh, much colder air will spread into Alabama tonight on the uh, backs of northerly winds, averaging some 10 to 20 miles an hour, and uh, that will make it feel even colder. But by morning, we'll see readings below freezing above uh, generally uh, US 278 into the north, uh, with uh, readings just above freezing in the I-20 corridor with uh, upper 30s to lower 40s over south central Alabama. Tomorrow stays cold and blustery all day. Temperatures remain in the 40s even though we get some sunshine back in here. Tomorrow night even colder, calling for 26 at Birmingham, 23 at Coleman, 22 at Hamilton, uh, 22 at Fort Payne, 30 at Alexander City. Uh, so tomorrow night even a little colder. We'll watch as a passing upper-level disturbance moves across to our north. It could shake out just a little bit of light rain, and I would think that would uh, probably fall as sleet over uh, parts of central Alabama. So you may hear the pitter-patter of sleet tomorrow night uh, around 10 p.m., 11 p.m., midnight. Something in that time frame, just something to watch, nothing to be concerned about. Of course, we don't expect any travel problems from that. Our coldest morning comes on Wednesday morning, uh, after that disturbance passes through, keeping us in the 40s by day. But uh, we'll see some uh, teens uh, by Wednesday morning across parts of North Alabama. And um, we'll be watching that closely. 23 at Birmingham, 24 at Tuscaloosa, 20 at uh, Hamilton, and 19 at Fort Payne. For the coldest morning in this upcoming series, we'll also be below freezing. Thursday morning, but uh, the temperatures won't be quite as cold. But this is a significant freeze time now to prepare for that if you've got anything that's going to be damaged by uh, readings that are that cold. Now, going out into the future using the uh, GFS, uh, this is Friday, March the 8th, early morning. We've got a surface low over central Illinois. Rain spreading into Alabama Thursday night. We'll call for uh, rain chances generally after midnight with uh, another round of rain spreading across the area during uh, the day on Saturday, or during the day on Friday, but it looks like that rain will continue into Saturday. This is GFS for 12Z, or 6 a.m. on Saturday, showing rain across much of uh, Alabama and the Deep South. Deepening surface low by Sunday morning, uh, pushes the cold front through here. We'll see some showers and thunderstorms Saturday night, and the front moving uh, the storms on out of here Sunday morning. Not a real severe weather look just yet, I don't think, even though any system in the spring uh, Merritt's watching, and we haven't looked at that one too closely yet because we've been watching the system that we're dealing with now. Uh, moving on forward into the future, March 13th, this is Wednesday morning, showing another surface low there, southeastern Nebraska, and uh, showers and thunderstorms beginning to break out in the deep south, so we'll see uh, another round of rain and storms at that point. And um, then moving forward into uh, Monday the 18th, our next rain system, more rain and storms over the mid-south. That'll be moving into Alabama during the day on Wednesday the 18th if the GFS's timing is correct and um, you know there's a good chance that uh, that will be the case. Now rainfall totals over the next two weeks are again going to be impressive. Uh, you know we've used that term uh, uh, quite a bit lately and uh, for the most part it is verified but um, the GFS uh, predicting uh, four to eight inches of rain across much of north and central Alabama some uh, six seven inch uh, amounts uh, you know, maybe uh, even a little higher than that uh, are going to be something that we watch uh, very closely because uh, our uh, ground saturated and uh, area rivers are still running quite high, although they're beginning to slowly go down. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, March the 3rd. Uh, James will be back with two a day starting tomorrow. I've got notes on the blog. Of course, uh, we'll have severe weather information all throughout the day for uh, everyone affected by the National Weather Service in Birmingham or Huntsville. Look for those warnings to be on the blog in seconds and frequent updates uh, from me and from Scott Martin throughout the day into the evening hours tonight as the severe weather situation begins to uh, calm down. But as I always tell you, until I see you again, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. 
Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking, what can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clogged line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing.